interested to see how that combination works tonight. Kennedy and McDonald. Here's the former. Bresciano. McDonald. Crossing towards Kennedy. Hops on and stopped by the feet of Mohamed Saka from Tim Cahill. Well, great movement. And that's exactly the kind of run that Tim Cahill is so good at. Finds himself with a great opportunity. Bresciano. Uh, what a game for Sati's voice you can hear barking over our uh, sideline camera microphone there he is he of the uh, bulging manic eyes back in 2005 certainly love revenge tonight Edmonton's ball in Kennedy climbs what a goal Josh Kennedy big Josh big goal on the big occasion that's a great hit up Brent Edmonton with the ball, had some tail on it, that's exactly why he's there Kennedy, such an aerial threat, great lead over two players, the guides the ball back from where it's come from, great direction in the header, to the far corner, gives Sakar no chance, exactly the start that Australia wanted. Well he's in great nick. Josh Kennedy scored at the weekend for Karlsruhe. That's just his second international goal. And what a start for Pimba Bay. Now here's Neil. Carney up at support. Oh, and the shot is just wide from Luke Wiltshire. That's great vision from Carney. Great movement. It was a beautiful pass. Really skimmed across the grass into Timmy Cale from Lucas Neal. That's where it started from. And Carney picked up the run, the late run from Wilkshire. Three zip in the corner cap. Wilkshire's ball in and flicked it at the near post. Tim Cahill, Australia are two goals to the good. And that's exactly the sort of ball whipped in with pace. All you need is someone attacking. The guitar is static. Timmy Cahill attacks the ball, a glancing header, no Qatari defender on the back post, can't understand that. At this level of football you should have two players, one on the near post, one on the back post, might have had a chance of clearing that. Timmy Cahill doesn't care, here's the ball, Wilkshire whipped in with pace, nice and flat, attacks the ball, just guides it to the far corner and Australia go two up. It's a great evening in Melbourne. The pitch is in perfect condition to move that ball quickly. And it's exactly what they've done. Australian have done it well. They've mixed as well. Bresciano, the runs from Cahill. There is Bresciano. Again, he's not been tracked. Kennedy! That's a good stop by Mohamed Saka. Yeah, he was going the other way. We talked about the movement there. It was again Bresciano finding himself completely unmarked into the penalty box. Found Josh Kennedy. Get sloppy is the shout from that far right hand side. It's Qatar who is sloppy again, though. McDonald, Bresciano! The Melbourne boy on his return to his hometown gets the third. And Australia, surely, even at this early stage, are home and host. Well, it's far too simple. Lost into the penalty box. Scott McDonald, great awareness from him. He had Josh Kennedy, who was marked. But he holds it up just at the right time. Look at the mistake there coming out of the fence. Sometimes he's got to clear your lines. Scott McDonald sees the late run of Bresciano from midfield. And doesn't he finish it well? Still got quite a bit to do. It's it low and hard across the keeper. Sakai has no chance. Well, we're even treated to a bit of the I Am Spartacus celebrations. to touch off uh, Mostly Sadiq and listen to the reception for Pim Bank <laughs> as he gets a touch of the ball. Yeah, you have a smile, Pim. The yes. team's winning. Oh, very relieved. I'm sure he thought he was always favourite for this game. That's another ball in towards Cahill and that's another good stop by the goalkeeper. Credit to him. That's a great stop. Again, a late run from Cahill. 
Look how deep they are. Cahill completely unmarked. Five zip. It has been pretty much one way traffic. That was Ali Afif with the header. He's the centre forward trying to help out. Nobody picking up Lucas Neal. Neal drives it across, it comes back off the keeper. Well, they're so lucky. Qatar just at sixes and sevens. Well, they were so lucky it just fell to a Qatari player. Kennedy's flick. What a shot by Luke Wiltshire. Real snapshot, and it was hard to handle for Mohamed Saka, who again did well. No, I think he saw it late. This is uh, Bresciano, Carney pairs away down the left. Scott McDonald's. Nice to see him get a goal tonight. His confidence a world of good at international level. Everton chips it in, header wide by Cahill. Should have been four perhaps. It should have been having got there. What a great ball from Brett Everton. Had a very comfortable night. More tricky test to come, Bresciano! And again, the goalkeeper comes to Qatar's rescue. Well, I thought that was going to hit the back of the net. That's the sort of position he loves, Bresciano. Uncle Okona made a real mess of that, but uh, then a lucky bounce. Now, Ali Afif up against Moore and Neil. And he turns Craig Moore superbly. Good ball in! Oh, and he should have finished the substitute! Mohamed into the side netting, real chance for Jorge Fossati's team to get a toehold in the game and they've blown it. Well, just a bit of a wake-up call for the Socceroos. Well, Tim Cale was lucky he didn't get a boot to the face there, but he's come away with the football. Disappointing cross. It'll come out to Carney. Beats the fullback with ease, good ball in, goalkeeper came, never got anywhere near it. Kennedy over the top. I think the keeper, Sakar, just does enough to put Josh Kennedy off. Wilkshire's caught. Kennedy the target. Well, it's not rocket science, Australia's plan at times from set pieces, but... It's dealing with it. Now the counter is on. Al Hamad. We missed that chance some moments ago. They've got numbers forward. Ali Afi. That's a good stop by Schwarzer. First save he's had to make. Yeah, good save. Expect him to save it on his near post, but it's a good strong hand. This is Brett Emerton. Wilkshire. Well, he's given us a bit of a show, hasn't he, Brett Emerton tonight? That ball played out to the right with the outside of his right boot. Well, we've seen the whole range of his skills. Yeah, he's been terrific. Lucas Neal. Now, no flag against Aloisi. Great first touch. Just couldn't match it with the shot. Ah, he scuffed it. And he knows it. Oh. What a chance to add to his tally. And touch was... Wasn't bad, maybe not, maybe enough dragging it onto his left foot.